Hi everyone, today I have got my new, and I believe these are new, um, Mission Gold. It's the Colours Found in Nature and it's their latest triple pan watercolour um, art set. So um, hopefully when I open it up you'll be able to see what I mean. Um, Mission Gold come from uh, South Korea. That's the box emptied. So we do get to see what colours are in the box here. There's 12 colours all together and it comes with a card to swatch your colours onto which I will be doing um, probably off to the side and then this is the actual art set and it opens up oops, like so and then this tray swings out but you can set it up so that it swings from the other side so um, there's a leaflet here and it actually tells you and shows you that you can put it on um, either side basically depending on whether you're left or right handed I suppose and there's also this sort of glassine paper um, which you can just rest when you're not using them so um, just to protect them there is this spare section here now not really sure what you would put in there maybe travel brush let's see travel brushes might fit in there not my biggest one that's a kind of a middle size one that fits in there what size is that that's a size eight so that would fit in there you might be able to get a small pencil maybe um trying to think what else you might want to put in there um but i get i'm guessing you know a travel brush would probably be the most useful you could also maybe put a little bit of sponge in there cut a piece of sponge up so as you've got something to dab your brush onto but then you've got these two nice spaces to mix your colors in so we have got 12 colors here i have never ever tried mission gold so let us see what they're like so I need a brush and I'm going to use a size 10 round. This is a craft mode brush. And I think I'm going to just wet the paper first. Let's see happens if we do that other than my pen leaking into it okay so first of all we have got lemon yellow lemon yellow is py3 and it's got a four star rating these go up to five star with their light fastness rating and uh, let me see it is medium staining and semi-transparent for those of you that want to know. Next we've got permanent yellow deep. They seem to be re-wetting pretty well. Oh, I didn't wet the paper. Start again. Right, let's just wet this paper again. So there's our Permanent Yellow Deep, which is rather beautiful. That is also four star out of five on the light fastness rating. It is semi-transparent and semi-staining. 
So let's just wet our page again. Now we've got red orange, which is PO73. This one is top of the range, five star, with light fastness. And let me have a look. It is semi-transparent and semi um semi-staining right, next we have got permanent red let's see what permanent red is like okay this is PR254 it's five star on the light fastness and permanent red is transparent and semi staining. Ooh. I think I'm going to need another jar of water. There we go. Let's just mop that one up because. It got a bit of the red in it from before. There we go. And then we'll use some clean water, like so. Okay, Quinacridone Permanent Magenta PR122. And again, it is five star top rating for light fastness. They are looking very pretty colours. Okay, this next one is Bright Clear Violet PV3. Hold on, can't read my own writing. PV3212. PV312. Yeah, PB29, so it's got ultramarine in it, and PR122. This one is only two star when it comes to light fastness, though. So that's something to bear in mind. Oh, ooh, shame, because it's a beautiful colour. But as I've always said... Um, that doesn't bother me because um, I don't usually sell my originals. Right, then we have got Cerulean. Cerulean Blue. Oh, did I say what that was? That was uh, Bright Clear Violet is semi-transparent, semi-straight, uh, semi-staining. Get that out. Right, now we're on Cerulean Blue. PB15 colon 3. Looks like a thalo. Um, it's five star. I don't know if any of you are... Very good with your pigments, but that looks kind of like phthalo blue to me. Um, ultramarine, that was five star, sorry. Um, what is it? Semi-staining, semi semi-transparent again. Then we're on ultramarine light, which is PB29. It's five star. It is transparent and non-staining. Now let's get some water down. Oh, that blobbed. Okay. 
What is next? Viridian. PG7. Five star. And Viridian is transparent and semi staining. What have we got next? Sap green. Sap green is PG36, PY150, five star light fastness, and it is semi transparent and staining. So, this one is definitely a staining color, not semi staining, but staining. Okay, what have we got now? Red Brown. Red Brown is PBR 25. It is five star lightness. It is transparent and semi staining. Okay. And our final one is Van Dyke Brown, PBR7, five star again, semi-transparent and non-staining. Did I water that? Nope. I don't usually water mine down, but this was a, a suggestion which is quite a good suggestion because sometimes we are watering them down before we or watering our paper down before we put the paint down okay well they re-wet really nicely I forgot to do my card, so I'll do that later. I'm going to let that dry, but um, before I do that, or ra rather while I put that to one side, I'm just going to give you a quick peek because my beam paints arrived. Look in this gorgeous little bag and they're all wrapped up really nicely so I've got six colors that I'm going to be sharing with you in the next um, in the next video I'm guessing that's a sample so these come all the way from Canada um, and what I'm going to be doing is seeing if they fit on the side for this Carweco, Carweco tin. So as I've got my pen and a travel brush and then my paint. So we will see. Um, I've seen, I saw that done somewhere else. So I'm going to be giving that a go. And look, a cute sticker so I can stick that on my tin but anyways that's for next time let's dry these off so these <clears throat> these are all now dry so there's our lemon yellow permanent yellow deep 
red orange glorious love that very bright we have permanent red quinacridone permanent magenta bright clear violet cerulean blue ultramarine light viridian sap green red brown and van dyke brown i think that's rather a nice little set for taking out and about and it does say it was the colors colors found in nature but it's just really interesting how you can move this this section all the way around and then there's a way of oh I see if you look where are we here yeah, that just hooks on so you could just pop it in that side instead but being right-handed <clears throat> I think that's probably well I would probably use it like this actually so that suits me quite nicely to have my colors up like that and work like that um, I like the fact that you've got the glassine there just to protect the paints if they are still a bit damp when you go to put them away and then that clicks shut so there we are mission gold triple pan watercolor colors found in nature and apart from the clear violet the bright clear violet which is only two stars in light fastness the rest are either four or five five being excellent four being good so um there we go um if any of you are thinking of purchasing that little mission gold set um it doesn't really say whether they are professional or student quality on here some of you might already know that maybe any of my followers in the states might um might know that better than me um, mission gold isn't something that um, I've come across so much in the UK to be honest so I'd be interested to hear your hear your thoughts and um, stick around and uh, get yourselves ready to see my beam paints uh, next time okay Take care, everybody.